Okay, I got another harmonica. This is a chromonica one, chromatische Mundharmonica um, from Honer, probably pre-war, but I don't really know. It's got the little six-pointed star, but apparently they removed that in the 70s and it represented the number of sons Mr. Honer had, and it wasn't a Jewish star. He wasn't Jewish, he was actually actively lobbying the Nazis to make the harmonica the official instrument of the Third Reich. But they, they, they declined. The, uh, the accordion is the only official Aryan instrument. But this is a, apparently a German make. You can imagine the Luftwaffe playing uh, Ach du lieber Augustin on this, or maybe the Americans were playing uh, I Wish I Were in Dixie while shooting at each other. But uh, yeah, it, that, that, that's the sort of thing this is. It smells sm slightly of smoke is almost everything from this era smells of cigarette smoke and there's nothing you, you can do about it. It's got a pear wood comb and wood absorbs smoke. Um, it's a chromatic harmonica. Uh, here I've got a different, an east top harmonica. East top. Those are the high and low notes. This one only has 10 holes, not 12 like the east top. The uh, high and low notes are. So what's going on? This has three octaves, that has three octaves. Uh -huh. That doesn't sound, well, here, here's the east top. It's not the same tuning. This has four holes per octave. This has three holes per octave. So three, 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 and an extra one for the high note. Uh, compare this to a normal harmonica. This is a special 20 owner also. <laughs> Hey, we heard that before. That's that. That's this. That's that's this. Uh, this chromonica two sixty. So th this is actually Richter tuned just like this. So anything you can play on this, you can play on this. If you don't use the slider, it's just a normal diatonic, and sliders on. Um, a chromatic shift everything up by one. But this one, the first thing I did when I took it apart and scrubbed it with the toothbrush was I took the slider and you see the slider, there's holes. This, pressing the slider changes whether you're doing the top or the bottom slot on each hole. I flip the slider like this so now up is down and down is up and for me when I press the slider it goes down so I've changed this into a C sharp harmonica that shifts down instead of a normal C harmonica that shifts up. Why would I do such a thing?
lots and lots of music has accidentals that shift down and then up again. Uh, ragtime is full of it and these other things that just, so, so shifting down is a whole lot more by a semitone is a whole lot more useful than shifting up. So I, I, I just knee jerk change these sliders to reverse whenever I get them. That's called Irish tuning if you have it shift down instead of up. Um, another thing I did was there are these uh, paper valves over all the notes and also inside the harmonica. The, and the paper valves, when you blow in, the paper valve on top will flap up and the air will go out. And then when you breathe in, the flap will go down and block that hole. And the other reed is the only one that will get the air through it. And that causes more air to go through the other reed because the wrong reed is blocked. Uh, unfortunately, that causes bends not to work. Um, the only bends I care about are really on draw. I don't care about blow bends. The papers blocking blow bends are inside the harmonica and the ones blocking draw are on top and on bottom. So what I did was I took it apart and I peeled off all those little pieces of paper on top and bottom. So now I can do draw bends. Um, why are bends important? Without bends, the bottom octave here would be missing the F and the A flat and the A, and there'd be no way to get to them, even with the shifter, because that's how Richter tuning is. There's gaps that are big enough that a semitone shift won't cover it. But with bends, even without the shifter, I can hit every semitone in the bottom range. And with the shifter, I've got two or three ways to get to each note. So, duh, I'm going to take off the, 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 the wind savers so that I can get bends because that makes the harmonica functional. Now, another thing about the bending down, um, I, I have a note below the bottom tonic, and some things need that, like... You can't hit that bottom note on this guy. It, it isn't there. But, but the, the, the shifter gives it to you. Also at the top, it gives you a high B without having to bend, which is kind of nice too. Um, what else is cool about it? Three notes per octave, so three complete octaves. Oh, late, later versions of the 260, switch to the normal chromatic solo tuned so it's only two and a half octaves and isn't nearly as fun an instrument as this guy like like a you don't have those chords you don't have those bends on a normal chromatic but you do on this and all this chromatic stuff in addition to the normal diatonic stuff. This is a really nice instrument. Too bad they don't make anything anything like it anymore. But you can get them off eBay for like 20 to 60 bucks in completely working in condition. Or like this one in not quite working condition for nine bucks. This is a great thing. Okay, that's it.